Hello friends and welcome back to my channel. I have another course breakdown video for you guys. Another first year course, but we're going to change it up a little bit and talk about the one, the only, the dreaded calculus, which is I probably out of all the math classes was my least favorite one. Um, and I feel like it's probably the class that people are the most worried about um, coming into computer science as most programs require you to take calculus. So I'll talk about how it works at my school, um, what we cover, what I thought of it, and maybe any tips and tricks that I have for getting through it. Because if, if you're not the biggest fan of math, like even I enjoy math, but I kind of did not like calculus. <laughs> so, so according to the class outline, these are the topics um, that we covered in calculus. So we covered limits and continuity, single variable, uh, differential and in integral, integral, I still don't know how to pronounce it, all my teachers pronounce it differently, integral, integral, I don't know. <laughs> uh, and so the mean value theorem, fundamental theorem of calculus, integration techniques, um, series, determination of extrema, I believe that that is it. So you'll know what some of those are because in order um, to get into this kind of program you have to have like advanced functions and potentially calculus from high school. So you have an introduction, at least you should have an introduction to those going into it. Um, a lot of the stuff was new, like I don't, it's hard to remember because it was a long time ago and I don't really know the curriculum for high school now, but I don't remember learning the mean value theorem or the fundamental theorem of calculus or integration technique. Well, we learned a little bit of integration techniques, but not to the extent that we learned in first year of university. Um, of course, I could just be forgetting that. So hopefully if you cover most of this, at least an introduction to all of these topics in high school, then you are already off to a great start for calculus. So at my university, they do this thing where you can either take a calculus course that is one semester long and then you've got your calculus requirement, or you can take two calculus courses. One is in first semester, one is in second semester, and it's basically the same as the first semester course, but it's spread out over the two semesters. So it's split in half and you get a lot more time to learn things. Um, I think that the pace is a lot slower in that one and you get to take, um, you get a lot more practice. They spend a lot more time making sure that people solidly understand the basics. And whether or not you do that option depends on, in my school at least, um, what you score on the, what's it called? It's called the Calculus Preparation Evaluation. So you take it um, before you take calculus and it gives you a score and it tells you which one of those courses you should take. So if you get above 70% on that evaluation, then you are able to take the one semester long course because it's a lot more information in that one course and it's a lot um, faster paced and they assume that if you get above 70 you'll be able to handle it so you should take that one. Um, I, I got a 73 I think on that evaluation. I got a low 70 basically which in my head I was like ah oh, that's above 70 I can totally take that course. That was a mistake. Um, I didn't I didn't fail the course or anything. I think I finished with a C plus probably, but that's not a very good mark. Um, even, I mean, calculus is tough, so I'm proud of myself for not getting like a D or failing it. I'm just gonna let you guys know that if I could go back now and redo that, I would definitely take the course that is slower paced and spread out over the two semesters because I think that was just a better idea. Like even if you're really, really good at that stuff, it's just your foundation is so much more solid. I think if you take um, a longer, more slow paced course, that's gonna give you the time to actually learn the concepts. The textbook that we used is called Calculus Early Transcendentals. Um, I will post a little picture of it here so that you can see. I don't know what version they're on now. That was a few years ago. But yeah, so my top tips probably for studying for calculus or any other math class as far as um, how my brain works. So obviously attend the lectures to the best of your ability. And then after that, repetition is so key, especially for when I'm trying to understand math. I know that you can understand the concept and then be like, oh, well, I don't really need to do all the questions in the back of the book because I understand the concept. And that's great, but 
math is something that I I can only be really successful at through basically muscle memory, like brain. Taking the time to do all of those practice questions means that you have the foundation to answer any of the simple questions because it's literally just muscle memory at this point and you're like, oh yeah, you do this, you do this, you do this. Um, but it also helps to build um, a solid foundation to start from when they present you with a question that you maybe haven't been, um, that you haven't experienced yet because then you'll have to take the foundational skills that you learned and apply them and if you don't have those foundational skills like, so that you can just immediately get them if you have to figure those out and then try to apply them to a problem you've never seen before it tends to be a lot more difficult as you can probably understand so yeah repetition is key try to go to class as always and just remember that computer science isn't though there is a lot of math um just given the nature of it a lot of it isn't going to be that super high level math they just they want you to know that so that you can understand things you you learn how to apply it and you have the foundation so don't worry if you're not amazing at math after second year we really don't have that many math courses anymore anyways unless you choose to take them so you just got to work hard and get through the first ones that you do have and then after that you should be fine for math <laughs> you won't have to worry about it anymore so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching that video. As always, let me know what I can improve on in these if you've been enjoying them. Um, and yeah, don't forget to smile and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.